at the national and B2B businesses. So most businesses in the local space are going to be working in the B2C space, which means business to consumer, which means that they typically will help out consumers, you know, in their home, provide a service, right? You think about roofing, you think about doctors, dentists, right? They're providing services to actual consumers, right? And then in the B2B space, this is where we're working with business to business. Typically, not always, right? You can work with the national uh, large business that just works with consumers or works with consumers and businesses, right? However, the B2B space and the national space is typically going to be a lot more profitable as far as the contracts. However, the sales process is typically going to be lengthy and it's going to be more people involved. So that's why I recommend the national and the B2B businesses to be after you've had some experience with the local space, you've got some confidence, and then you can tackle you know these larger businesses, right? And so these can be anything from like e-commerce businesses uh, to B2B service businesses, right? All across the board. Understand that oftentimes these businesses are going to have higher budgets, but like I mentioned, they're typically going to be a longer sales cycle, longer sales process, and there may be two to three different people involved. I remember working with the SaaS company, uh, Software as a Service, uh, down in San Francisco. And when I was working with them, they had three different people that I was on the call with. I was on the call with the CEO, the digital marketing, the marketing director, and the marketing manager. And so the deal was for you know five figures each month, right? And so it was high value. However, it was multiple people involved, multiple different decision makers that need to be involved in the whole entire process. And it took a great while. I mean, it probably took three to six months to get everything kind of ironed out. And with local businesses, you can get a local business within 24 to 48 hours, right? Very little as far as what's needed. And you don't need to go through all these different hoops because you're typically working with just the decision maker, right? So here's the typical B2B business owner. There's often the CEO and the leader of the organization, and then there's multiple chains of command under them. This is where they have the VPs, the directors, the managers, right? The guys in the operations. And so typically the best way to reach out to these guys is to outreach to the CEO, the top level of the chain, right? The top of the food chain. And then they're going to be the ones that pass the messages down to the appropriate departments. And so that's how I've been able to work with a lot of large national companies is because I reach out to the CEO and I mention about our digital marketing strategies about generating more leads. And then they'll email the you know marketing director or marketing manager, and then they'll reach out to me and then we'll all get together. And so here's their experience with digital marketing. Number one, they have an in-house person or two that handles their marketing. However, their experience is limited broad and oftentimes little to no marketing strategy or funnel. Here's the thing. A lot of times when these folks are being hired right in house, a lot of these guys know metrics, KPIs, and they don't necessarily have experience with a certain platform or a certain strategy, or they don't necessarily understand influence and persuasion, how to get people to take action, how to get people to submit their information to learn more, right? A lot of these folks that come out of the marketing schools just learn uh, the actual KPIs, the metrics, right? And they're very analytical. They don't really understand the lead generation side of things. And that's where you can come in and really add value. And then number two, they're working with a consultant or agency and they're not getting the results that they expected. It's important to understand here, like I mentioned previously, with any other company out there that you're looking to bring on board and that where they've worked with somebody else or they're currently working with somebody and they're falling short, you want to understand how specifically they're falling short so that you can differentiate yourself accordingly. If they say, hey, you know what? They just weren't driving high quality leads. Okay, great. You know, one of the things that we do differently is we make sure that all of our leads fill out the necessary information and that we are pre-qualifying them before they're even sent out to you so that you can have the highest quality of leads. And that means that you're going to be able to focus on growing your business because you're going to have high quality leads coming to you every single day. Knowing how specifically 
that agency that they were working with or that person that they were working with didn't deliver results, it's going to be huge for you to be able to tell them why you're different. So make sure that when you're talking to the prospect, you understand what happened, how they you know, were dropping the ball or how they're currently dropping the ball and how you're different, right? How what you do is completely different and how they're not going to experience that by working with you. And then number three, they have an in-house team and want to get some outside help in a certain specific channel. For example, they may need some help with running Facebook ads or Google ads. Maybe they are running you know, successful Google ads, but they don't have somebody that knows Facebook very well and they haven't implemented a strategy. And so in this scenario, this is where you're typically working with like a manager, a director, uh, maybe a business development rep, or even a consultant uh, from that company. But typically this is where you're going to find the national businesses in one of these three areas in terms of their experience with digital marketing. And so national and B2B businesses, you know, rely on referrals, right? They rely on word of mouth. That's kind of natural for them and organic, right? And then they also go out and do typically networking events as well. And they do have a marketing strategy in place. However, it's inconsistent or they are you know, working with somebody that isn't delivering results. So a lot of these folks need somebody to come in and help with their strategy or maybe with implementing a whole new strategy because whatever they have right now isn't working. And so let's look at the hierarchy here for the national and B2B businesses. So at the very top, we can see that we have C-levels. This is where we have the CEO, the founder, the president. Uh, you have chief marketing officer, chief financial officer, and then we have the VPs, the operations, marketing, business development, uh, and then we have the director level, director of sales, marketing, customer service, and then the managers, right? And so what you want to understand here is that oftentimes with these larger companies, you want to go to the very top of the food chain. You want to reach out to the CEO, the founder, the president, and you want to mention to them that you found some things that are wrong with their business, their website, or that you have a strategy or unique methodology to be able to generate new leads and customers, right? So this is a secret sauce here for when you're working with these types of businesses, because oftentimes when you're going directly to a director or a manager, these guys are going to think that you're trying to get their job or that you're trying to, you know, get them fired. And so oftentimes these guys are not going to be as receptive as you going to the very top of the food chain. And where if a C-level, you know, you email the founder or the CEO and they forward that email to a director or manager, right? They're going to respond back to you because the CEO, right, forwarded that message. And so if you're just going directly to the director and manager, because in a way they're going to feel threatened by you wanting to come in and try to help them out, right? Because that's going to be a reflection of them not doing their job. And so that's why it's best to reach out to the very top of the food chain when you're looking to target national and B2B businesses. So that's going to be it here for this one.